Our journey at Agritechnica 2023 now brings us onto the Horsha stand in Hall 12. To talk about what Horsha is displaying here, I'm joined by Mr. Mark Brown. Sir, thank you very much for talking with us. Thank Tell you. us a little bit about what's here today. Yeah, thank you very much for your visit. So, <laughs> yes, we are really happy with the uh, exhibition here in Hanover with the Agritechnica. Cool. Yeah, and um, I think what is special for us and we are really proud on that, that we can show innovations in all of our product families. Right, and right. Yes, and I really like to start with the Pronto 70C. So Pronto is a, a pneumatic seeder and we are working for years on, on Pronto on different models. Right. And this 7.2 meter one is the, the newest member of the family. Okay, yeah. So first question is always, why 7.2 meter? It's well, exactly. not an... It's not a common working grid. No, no, it's not. Yeah, it isn't. <laughs> but if we talk about uh, tramline systems, we, we found very often a 36 meter tramline system and five passes with 7.2 meters is 36 meter tramline. So it's, sense, yeah. for 36, it's perfect. It's uh, more capacity than the six meter version. Mm -hmm. And there are a lot of requests from the market to say, okay, what is next step in working with? 7.2 meter can be next step in working with. Right. What is also uh, interesting, I think, for, for, the, for the farmers, um, this machine now is ready for doing three and up to four different components. Okay. So we have double hover, and in this case, we have our mini drill in the back for the third component. Uh, and this is a, also a topic or a, yes, or a point which is very intensive, discussed in different markets, not just put seed and word, also put some micro uh, nutrients, for example, or what we can also do is putting some some uh, cover seeds or whatever. So this is this is uh, these are the, the options for the project. Now, is this a drill? Where do you anticipate the market for this drill? Is this a, is this a drill for, for the home market here? Is it for Eastern Europe? Is it for all of Europe? Is it? Well, I mean, tell me where this uh, is destined for. Yeah. So I, I think Pronto nowadays we're we're selling in in a lot of market, especially. Europe also in over there in, in England we're selling quite a lot of Prontos also mm -hmm. over years and I think these all are the target markets for Pronto 70C. Right, right. Yeah. So what else have we got here? Show me where we, what, yes, what else we've got here. Let's today. jump over to the Solus. It's a, a brand new project from the company. Right. So we're here with the Solus. Yeah. Tell yeah. us a little bit about what you've got, innovations we've got here. Yeah, Solus, so the the main uh, headline here is perfect embedding, so seed embedding. Right, okay. So seed embedding is always the combination of seed depth and seed and soil yeah. and contact. So what is target? To get perfect germination. This is the, the main target. Right. And what we are now doing is um, we're having a cedar bar in the in the back with a double disc, a heavy double disc opener. Right, let's go uh, let's walk which, around and look at that. Yes, we can jump over there to show you that. Right. Yes. So, so it's it's this this is the working part here. This yes. is what we're focusing on here. Yeah. So the, yes, yes, you're right. This is the the working part. You see a, a double disc opener with two gauge wheels on the side. That mean we can uh, control the seat depth perfectly and we are also able to increase embedding quality. And what we did now with this machine this year, so this is our test machine, it's a used machine, you can see right, it. Right, yeah, so sure. we, we did in, in the falls or in summer in the falls, we did all the drape with the machine, we did winter barley and winter wheat. The row spacing is nine inch or 10 inch mm -hmm. row spacing. Right. And our metering unit is our airspeed a precision metering unit right. from the Maestro series. So okay. it's, a, it's a proven it's, concept. It's a proven concept. It's yeah. from the planters. The difference is inside. Okay. I can just Show open it for you. So let's take it out. Oh, wow. So this, for example, is the disc, 122 holes. And this is the disc what we used for, for winter wheat, for example. Okay. Uh, seed density is between 100 and 250, so more in the mid or in the lower uh, specter of, of seat densities. Right, right, right. Okay. Yeah. Now I see the machine's got an awful lot of adjustment. How do you 
how, how do you set it up in terms of the adjustment on this machine? Because we've got adjustment here, we've got, I mean, tell it's, me how it works in that yeah, respect. Yeah. It's not, uh, I think it's not too complicated. So for us, the, the main principle is always to find uh, a simple solution. So, so what you have to do is you set up the seating depth. So right. this is seating depth. Okay. Yeah. And you set up the pressure of the closing wheels in right. the back. Yeah. And you can set up the pressure of the, the catching wheel in the furrow. So it's, it's three simple adjustments. Yes, no more. So right. step and, and each one's controllable. I see. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. And from the from the metering side, um, it's also very simple. So the singulator is without any adjustment. So the only thing what you adjust is the pressure level inside, and the pressure level is done by the hydraulic driven fans. So, right. the, so the, the only thing what you adjust is the amount of oil on the hydraulic fans. Uh, what sizes particularly, what sizes does this drill come in? What, 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 what widths? Yeah. This is now 47 rows. That right. means this machine is 10.6 meter wide. 10.6 meters, right. Yeah, right. Yeah. That's a big machine. Yeah. yeah, it's a concept. So first machine, um, hopper is a double hopper, seed and fertilizer again. So that means we can put some some nutrients into the seed furrow. Right, goodness, yeah. goodness. Now, so that this is that, this is a new development from you. Now, a, yeah. a drill that we're familiar with in the UK is the Avatar. Is, yeah. There's some developments with the Avatar. So let's go to the the Avatar. Right. So we have here we have the Avatar. Tell us a little bit about what's going on with the Avatar. Yeah, so Avatar nowadays is um, uh, for us a very important machine. It's a single disc seeder yep. and we learned over the last years that this machine is not just for no-till situations. In a lot of cases it's also for min-till situations or in very intensive, in a, in a very intensive tillage system. Right. So it's a machine which is uh, uh, which you can use in, in various conditions. It's a versatile machine. Yeah, yes, it, yeah, yes, it is. And um, what we learned that our customer really liked this simple one bar design. Right. Beca because it's, you see the machine, there is enough clearance. It's easy to set up because just one row. And again, what you have to adjust is seat depth. So simple seat depth. And what you also can adjust is the, the the downforce of the closing of the closing wheel. Yeah. Now I notice on 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 on, each, on the drill, you, I notice each one of these is set slightly differently. I know you've so you have. Is that something that's necessary? You don't want them all to be set the same, or are you just giving? Is it simpler for the operator to get off and just go well set each one individually, or is there some specific reason why every every culture has got its own adjustments? No. Um, I think um, what what is in what is important. We do the depth control row by row, so every single row has an own depth control. Normally, yeah. what the customer is doing, he set up all the openers, of course, on one depth. Exactly. Uh, yeah. But we are able to adjust the depth individually. And for example, one case is in in some conditions uh, we doing uh, multi crops. That means you have, for example, an oil seed rape very shallow right in a combination for example with some field beans just as a cover crop or as a catching crop right right, right. Yeah. so that gives you that's that's where the versatility yeah. and the flexibility yeah. of the design comes in yeah yeah. Really yeah yeah and simple and simple again i think yeah. this is all always the same always the same story makes same simpler uh, avoid avoid mistakes i think this is this helps. now was, uh, uh, correct me if i'm wrong but haven't there been some upgrades in terms of the control for the avatar this time? Is that the is a control box changed? Is there, um, is, is there some developments in that respect? Yeah, we are working on. Uh, we are currently in a process of uh, going step by step further to the next generation of software. Right. And what we also have here in Hanover as a news is our new touch screen. Okay. EOS T10 is the name. Uh, I can show you yes, if it's interesting for you. Yes, let's have a look at that. Okay. Now with the EOS T10, um, uh, or we're jumping into the next generation of, of capacity. Right. To be able to uh, to work also with very big maps for application cards and so on, and this, you can see the solution is higher than than before. So this is the new screen. It's a 10-inch screen. So higher resolution. 
easier to read, and it's got a great what memory capacity or, 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 yeah, or yeah. Yeah, so, so yeah, memory yeah. capacity is uh, is increased dramatically. It, yes, it's the next generation. It's, it's always faster a step operating. For, yeah. So it's yeah. everything that you, yeah. you that you need to keep up basically. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so now is that available now? Yes, it's available, full available now. On, on, on across the board or on yes. specific models? Yeah, yeah, yeah. On everything? Yeah, on everything, yeah. So it's next generation of, of, of uh, touch screens and the touch screen uh, is fully Isobus ready. So you can use it with all the Horsch machines, but also with other Isobus machines. Yeah. Well, For us, cool. it was very important jumping into the next generation. Work also on the software side because there are now some really nice features in which helps the customer in operating the machines. So there we have it. That's the latest news from Horsch. Michael, thank you very, very much. Thank That's you for spending some time with us.